In this video, we're going to be replacing the old bumper that I have on my F55 rebuild project with the brand new LCI2 JCW bumper that you see laid out behind me. This video is going to be epic, and we teamed up with outmotoring.com to get this bumper. And if you have a chance, take a look at their site. They have a huge list of upgrades for your Mini. We hope you enjoy this video. Please make sure that you subscribe and that you like the video, as it really helps us. But most of all, we hope you find this video helpful. My name is Ethan, and welcome to Car Creations. This bumper comes in five pieces. So first of all, we have the two brackets that go inside the bumper, which the bumper connects to. Next, we have the actual bumper itself, which needs to be painted. We have the trim that goes around the bumper and connects to the side arches that come down the side of the back of the car. Then we have the piano black diffuser itself. So first of all, we're just gonna put it all together right here on the bench, and then we're gonna be putting it on the car. This video is actually pretty easy, but it took us a little bit to get done, as we'll show you in this video. So first off, let's get this video to a perfect start with adding everything to the bumper. And I'm sure it's gonna look absolutely amazing. What we're gonna start with is connect the painted bumper to the trim black plastic piece. So if you watched our other video for doing the front bumper, pretty easy. You just wanna start putting it in and you really wanna push the tabs in and then pull them through with your other hand. So it's easier if you face it down first and then you can kind of pull it into it as opposed to trying to push down on it because this has this weird U shape. So I start with the corners, I pull them all through, and I'm just going to slowly, slowly work myself along. Click, click. All right, and just like that, this part of the bumper is done. Now we're going to put the piano black diffuser on. Now we might change this up for a carbon fiber one once they make one in the future, but for now, put her on. And this one's really easy. It just snap in all the way around. Just like that. So if you flip it over, you'll be able to see what we're, uh, what we're doing on the other side. These uh, tabs need to be pulled on the other side. So same for the black plastic here. Pull up. Nice. Just like that, the bumper's done and it's looking amazing. It looks so good. Okay, so uh, you thought we were done with the bumper. There's a few last things, so. If you look down in here, there's these black holes that we have through here, and those are for the PDC sensors. Before we put it on, we're just gonna populate those. So I got, I had to get two painted, the color of the car, and then two I just remain, I left black. If your car doesn't have PDC, make sure that you order the ones uh, without the holes in them. Uh, and if you do, make sure that you order the ones with the holes in it. Now, mine didn't have it, and I ordered it with the holes anyway, so I could possibly retrofit it in the future. And while I was doing that, I just quickly put the wiring harness in for it, so when we get the bumper on, we don't have to take it back off again. So uh, without any further ado, let's put these parking distance control units in. Let's get on the car. So for these, in order to put them on, you just have to uh, put these little black rubber pieces on. They just go around like so. Push this on like that, and then they should be able to fit right in. So the one that we painted goes right in the edge here. You wanna make sure that fits in the right notch. Here we go, one in. Once again, I'm just lining it up the notch here. You can probably see one edge, one there. All right, so when attacking a bumper removal, one of the main things that you need to remember is that you'll be putting one of these plastic tools in between paint. And uh, when doing that, you can get some undesired effects. So I have before me a nice big uh, array here of tools. Along with them, we have this white cloth that basically what we'll be doing, putting the trim removal against it and then using that to pry against. That way you don't uh, wreck any paint. There you go. And so basically what's gonna happen, it's gonna snap off. So there's an indicator light here, so just be careful of that. And then, so this is the indicator light here. Just push down at the end, comes right off. So once you get these off on both sides, we're gonna have to then go and on the edges near the bottom, take off the second little piece of trim down there. So I took off the bumper a few weeks ago because we actually had a different bumper that we're actually test fitting. And turns out it doesn't fit this car because I got the bumper for an F56 instead of an F55, which is the four-door hatch that I have. So if you go to order this, make sure you get one for an F55. Once again, out motoring can help you get the right parts for that. So we took off the old bumper. While we're on there, we noticed it had the tow package. So what we're gonna do is take apart the tow package and actually use the cable from it for our uh, parking distance control retrofit later. Because I don't need it, and it doesn't work with this bumper and we might as well use the cables if they're already run. And then once we have all the parts already, we can lift up the car and put it all back on. So there's actually only one piece on here that we have to take off. 
It's a little 5 16 bolt. So basically what this little piece right here does is hold extra for all the electrics for the trailer. All right, got all lifted up. It's time to put the bumper on. Super excited, okay? So first off, we're gonna put on these black impact protectors. I don't know what you wanna call them. What does BMW call them? They call them lateral support. And make sure once again, you get the right one if you have an F55 or an F56. You might notice I took out the tail light on this side. That was just because we we're doing some wiring in there. And hopefully you'll see a video on that soon. Okay, so this just sits on very easily. So here's the left side. And we're just gonna throw this on. Once again, same thing, just line it up. You can see the uh, bolts that come through. And after you get those in, you just have to screw it in. Grab a 10 mil and just go a wrenching. One thing to remember here, and right here are actually two little plastic bolts. So uh, make sure that you use those, not try to use one of the metal ones, else it'll just spin and spin and spin and spin around. Is it ready, tidy, lefty, loosey? Exactly. So the next thing that we're gonna do is put the crash bar on. And I already showed you guys how we converted it from the uh, trailer one to just a normal crash bar. James is lifting it over here. <laughs> you need a, what is it, 18. Quickly, exposed, there's a barcode that's very visible there. Scan that for a thousand dollars. You know we have air, right? So satisfying. Woo! Crash bar on. So, next we're just gonna route this cable through, okay? So, uh, it's a little bit thicker than you might normally see here because I actually joined two wiring harnesses together in order to get the PDC. That's for a different video, so make sure you subscribe and uh, Stay tuned. Nice. All right, bumper. Okay, so first we're just gonna put all the wires in. Um, so in preparing to put the PDC sensors on, so you pull this tab up, you have leverage, as you can see, to push down on it in order to connect it. So one of the things you have to do is try to get these uh, tabs on the other side of this black plastic here. So I got this one done. I just need to get this one done. I found if you push down and pull up on this at the same time with a trim remover, if you come over here, just screw this screw in. There's a little bit of room, so don't screw it all the way in because sometimes you have to adjust the bumper so it has perfect lines all the way around. So for example, that's a little bit tighter there, so you can bring it down or bring it up or do whatever, so you can get a perfect pedal gap. Pedal gap. Unlike a Tesla. What? <laughs> so one of the things that we're trying to do here is snap this in. For some reason it's kept snapping out. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go along the bottom and we're gonna put in all the screws down there. <laughs> It took us a little bit more effort than we thought it would originally because this bottom piece didn't quite fit. Now there is a reason to that. If you have an F56, this will fit perfectly and you won't have to like try to push it like we did. North America, where we are, uh, they don't sell the F55 with the JCW bumper. They don't actually have this piece that stretches the extra. So we had to like really push in order for, for uh, to get this to fit. All right, so we got that connected all up. If you are in Europe, then it should be easier. If anyone has this piece for an F55, let me know. But, but we just did what we could with the pieces that we could get here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is get the side trims put on and we're almost done. So uh, I guess lower the lift a notch or two and let's get going. All right, so as with anything, we've run into an issue. As I was saying before, how this is for an F56, I think that might be causing a problem because if you look on the sides, actually bowing out slightly because we have to push it in and in pushing it in it's stretching the plastic out on the side so we're really gonna have to find the f55 version of this and get it shipped from england maybe but we'll see so on this side you'll also see that <laughs> these aren't connected these aren't for the lci2 bumper and so they don't quite stretch down as far and they also don't quite wrap around as, as well as they should so we're gonna have to get new ones of these the fender lining it's also not the right shape, so we're gonna have to get new ones of those as well. But other than that, it looks amazing. All right, so that has been our video. Uh, 
If you have an F56, you'd be set at this point. But we just have a few more parts to order and we'll make a video in the future where we will add the parts that are missing on here. I actually think it might be fun to try to add this uh, European spec fog light down here. So I might see if I can get that part from Europe. Uh, because we don't have that over here. So that'll be something to look forward in the future. If you haven't yet, please make sure that you like and you subscribe, but most of all, please have an amazing rest of your day. All right. Um, Bro, this looks so good though. Right? I'm in love with our background. Uh-huh. Okay.